morning, evening, dear night, Canada's a kind of ladies and gentlemen who quest or troll the wonderful land of YouTube. My name is Jolombo, and welcome to, well, the third top six for today. Well, the third half a dozen top six for today. Yes, we're calling them half a dozen. So, yeah, without further ado, let's number our top six singers this time. Yes. Singers. Okay, you know that, well, if you've seen one of the videos, uh, mainly the one with the guitar playing and the singing, you know that I do those things, so that's why I cho chose to do this. I also play some bass on the side, but we don't do top six bass players or, uh, well, pianists this time. That might be a next thing some at some point I do. But now let's get to my top six singers. Yes, at number six. We have a guy that was also in our guitarist list because he also does his singing himself and it's Brian Setzer. Yeah, I was thinking about who should I include when it comes to like rock and roll, rockabilly and I had some thinking there and even though a lot of people obviously think that, that uh, Elvis Presley would be a really legendary singer in that genre I do prefer the more versatile singing style when it comes to uh, Brian Setzer's uh, singing. Yes, it, I think it's kind of more versatile. I think there's more of a, an inclusion of modern rock in the vocals as well. So that's kind of what, what, what makes it a more broader spectrum of singing. So, yeah. Also, he does it while playing the guitar, so that's commendable. Number five. I had to include somebody that could count as somewhat proto-heavy metal somewhere or at least an influence on the singing style because I didn't really include metal singers because I think they weren't their own list. Yes, so I included Freddie Mercury because of his range and stuff and well the feeling in his singing as well. Why isn't, why isn't he higher on the list? Well. There's some singers I just like the, the timbre, the, like the, the sound of their voice more. Yeah, if, if it was a technical list, he would be way up there, obviously, because he's one of the best technical singers. But that's not all. There's also some some personal preference when it comes to the sound of a voice, and there's just some voices that I like more when it comes to the sound, like the next one, which is Ian Thornley. Yes, on. Number four, we have Ian Thornley, if I'm pronouncing it right. And that's the guy, well, the singer, and also the guitar player, well, one of the guitar players, for Big Wreck. So we have a Canadian on this list, yo. Yeah, Canadians, maple leaf, maple syrup, and stuff. Yes. So a fair question could be, why didn't I put, uh, well, Chris Cornell on this list? Because their vocal style is quite similar. And I can't honestly really tell you why. I, I was thinking about doing a split entry on this and putting them on here because, well, they are both somewhat similar, they, they both have a similar style of singing. Then again I decided to not do that because I think it's just a bias when it comes to the songs or something, I think I just like their songs better or something, they're better adapted to the singing style, I don't know. There's something that, that brought me to, to this conclusion and I can't really point my finger at it. So if you want to treat this as a double entry, I could do that as well. It's, it's hard to make that decision there. On number three, we have one of the, well, one of the oldest entries on this list, I, I would suppose. Because it's, uh, well, somebody who died a few years ago in 1969 or 89, I don't know anymore. It's Frank Sinatra. Yeah. So yeah, why did I include him? Because there are some nice technical prowess there. It's a, it's a very different style from the other uh, singers on this list. And so I wanted to include him for that because he also has the power in his voice where you have like a lot of those uh, crooners having really soft voices. He also added some power to the vocals. So it. It's, it's a nice contrast uh, within that genre, 
he, he added some of the, the more jazzy singing to the to the crooner, so it's it's really nice. And he has a nice sound to his voice, so yeah. Why wouldn't I include him? Then at number two, we have some something somewhat similar because there's a somewhat soul jazz singer there. It's David Clayton Thomas from Blood, Sweat and Tears. Because, well, he has a really great voice. Like, the sound of his... I, it's, it's one of the voices that I like the best when it comes to sounds. And he has a really great technique as well. He can add the power. He can have, like, a soft, smooth voice as well. Well, soft, smooth when it comes to still being grainy. It's not, not, not like, a smooth like a baby's buttocks. It's, it's... Well, it's, it's a great voice. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. If you wanna hear some of it... I suggest checking out the Blood, Sweat and Tears live and improvised album. Yeah, because their live album is like way better than than, than their than their live than their recording than their just like studio recordings. That's a really great live album. It has some improvisation. It's a, it adds some jazziness and and some soul and and some rock here and there. It's like a nice eclectic style. And yeah, the singer like fits that mold perfectly. So, then we have arrived at the pinnacle of this list, our number one, and somewhat the reason that we included singers as a third option. I've made a split, split decision here again, I couldn't choose here. But one of these entries on number one might have been quite predictable since he's the reason we made this list and added it to the repertoire. Well, it's David Bowie and Peter Hamill. Because they're both somewhat my favorite singers, and I couldn't really choose between them. They're like the singers that I used to like uh, sometimes practice and stuff. Most of my practice goes through them. There is some Brian Setzer in there as well. I have practiced with uh, some Blood, Sweat and Tears songs, so David Clayton Thomas is in there as well. I haven't really practiced with Freddie Mercury because I can't go that high. That kind of sound, that kind of goes for Ian Thornley as well, but I'm digressing there. So, uh, why did I choose to include both of them? There is some similarity in their voice, I don't know what it is, even though they have a different, completely different style of music, there are some similarities between the sounds of their voice and the way they use it from time to time. There's some uh, gloominess in the voices that you can hear, which I like, especially in their voices. Even though some people might say that Peter Hamill does like this uh, overacting when it comes to his vocal emotions, but I don't know, I just like it. When it comes to David Bowie, he also has like different like vocal sounds, his, his voice can sound different. If you don't know some of the songs are David Bowie, you would be like, really? Is that David Bowie? When you like compare his like, first album that he did himself to his later albums, there, there's a huge gap in style there. And that even goes to his vocal style. There's a huge variety, not only like the, the octaves that he can reach, like the low notes that he can, can uh, hit compared to the high notes that he can hit, but also in the, the, the vocal sounds. He can sound very differently. That's why is it number one. And Peter Hamill is at number one for also somewhat a similar reason, because he can go from a fragile voice to a, a screamish voice that he uses, a thundering voice. So yeah. Somewhat similar there. Their vibratos are both nice. So yeah, that's another plus. And this has been my top six singers. So I'm gonna end this list here. And um, well, if you didn't see any of the previous lists, like uh, the guitarists or metals drummers list, then make sure to check those out. And I'll catch you in the next video. <laughs> Thanks for watching our video. Did you like that video? Don't forget to like it if you like it. If you don't like it, like it as well. Leave a comment and share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and be real monsters. See you in the next video.